Hi and welcome to this new video series about basic robotics theory. So in this first video we're going to talk about a very simple question but that has a lot to offer which is what is a robot and what makes it different from other machines? So there's a lot of debate about that and it's not that easy to, to define, but there's a general consensus that tells us that robots are machines that have three main things. The first thing is that they have sensors. Sensors are elements that allow the robot to know about the environment. A camera, for example, to know what you have around. A laser, tactile feedback motor feedback, electromagnetic sensors, anything that allows that robot to know and to get information about the environment. The second one is actuators. Actuators allow the robots to move, to move around the space, to move their limbs, to manipulate the, the environment in some way, uh, it could be just a magnet that allows the robot to get um, things made of iron. Maybe it's a gripper. Maybe it's a, a motor that allows it to move the arm or wheels. Anything related to that, it's an actuator. Okay. And the third thing and mo probably the most important part is... Uh, a computational unit or a computer okay so uh, that computer binds those other two systems together so it binds the sensor data with the actuators and what the computation element does is basically be the brain of the robot so it gets the sens sensor data for example I see an object and I have to do something. Oh, I see a cube, then I have to move to the right. Or maybe I see uh, an apple, so I have to grab it. So that's, that's what the computational unit does. It decides based on the data of the sensors and by itself, it sends signals to the actuators, to the motors, to uh, the thrusters, anything and manipulates the space and the robot itself based on the sensor data. So those three things, elements, are what make a robot a robot and differentiate it from a machine. So for example, let's say a machine, uh, a car. Would you say a car is a robot? Uh, nowadays it's not that easy to decide because it, based on this de definition, it really does. It really is a robot because it has sensors and it processes that data and makes the actuators, the wheels, the, the steering wheel, the brakes, everything makes it do things. But in the old days, let's say... Uh, in the first days of the, of the cars, they, they just had actuators, but they didn't have sensors, so it wouldn't be a robot. Another example is, for example, automatons. Automatons are the, the initial robots. The initial idea of the robots comes from there. So automatons do very complex operations and some of them even have sensors. So you input some data and it changes the outcome. It changes the actuators, how they move. That would be a robot? Well, maybe very, very basic robot. So you can see that there's a wide variety and it's difficult to, it's a bit fuzzy. So let me give you an example. So here I've created a simulation which uh, for fans of Rick and Morty, uh, you know what it is. So 
It's the butter robot sensors. It has a camera that you can see uh, right here. Let me show you. There we go. Whoop. So there you have it. So it's seeing what the robot has more or less in front. That's the sensors. So one check. Then we have uh, actuators. We have loads of them. It has, as you can see, it has arms, it has wheels. So let's, let's have a look if they work. So actuators are basically this. So we can move the arms and move it around. And there you go. Okay. So you can see that. Yeah, we can move the robot. Okay. We also can move it around. Let's have a look. Uh, sorry about this. There we go. Let's put it like that. And we can move it around. Okay. Let me put the lower head to zero because otherwise we won't see anything. There we go. So now I can put my camera. There we go. And now let me move this around. Okay. And you can see that, okay, we have some input of cameras and we move the actuator. So two of three, but then we have computation, which is basically the element that binds both together and makes decisions. So in this case, we don't have a program and therefore maybe this wouldn't be a robot. This is just a very fancy machine. So as you can see, it's very difficult. You see, hey, this is a robot. Well, yeah, some kind of robot, but it lacks the most important element. And it's one of the things that we as developers, as robot robotics developers, we have to work on, which is the computing system, the AI, the thing that binds together the sensors and the actuators. So that is what really makes the robots different from any other machine. It makes decisions based on those inputs. So I, I just have one more uh, discussion for that. So for example, we can know that uh, Spot or Asimo or, or Curio or Aibo, those are robots because they have sensors and they make decisions based on that. But then we have, we go down and we say, okay, we have uh, our Kairos or Tiago or, uh, or Turtlebot, these robots. Well, yeah, they are robots because they have sensors and actuators, but it depends on the software that they have inside if it really makes them a robot in my definition, which is that they do it autonomously in some way. And then we have industrial robots, which produce operations, but sometimes they don't even have sensors of any kind to change the outcome or how they move based on what they see because they don't see anything. So in conclusion, what you, what we can see is that what makes robots, robots and not simple, very fancy and very useful machine, don't take me wrong, they can be very useful without being following this definition of, ro of being a robot. Uh, they just are very fancy and complex machines, but they are not really robots. What makes them a robot, what makes a machine a robot is the AI, 
the programs that they have inside. So in order, if you want to learn about how to build robots, real robots, you need three main things. One, learn theory. Two, practice, have hands-on experience of seeing what it is and what it's not and what it works and what doesn't. And then concentrate on a project dear to your heart to solve a very precise issue or problem of society. So one of a very good place to start is here, where I've been showing you all this video, which is the construct. In there are loads of courses that you can do to start learning about robotics. Many, many, many topics. Basics, theory, like this robotics theory that we have here. So we have robot dynamics, basic kinematics, basic arm kinematics, kind of interest, and many, many more. We have also basics math for robotics. And then we have ROSH, which is a framework that is becoming the standard for robotics. So it's a very good place to start once you finish the theory. And then many other advanced topics related to programming drones or even AI, navigation, manipulation. There are loads of topics. So in the concert, you can learn and have hands-on experience working with simulations while you learn about robotics theories and all the basics. So that's been all for today. Thanks a lot for hanging around with us and see you in the next video about basic robotic theory. Peace.